On June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Coast Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to ICO participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Coast Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms, and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. For University and U19 category, the Coast Space server will send the robot its own coordinates while the robot is searching in the virtual world. The location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategy such as path planning and search algorithms. Additionally, for University and U19 categories, there are signal block zones which are surrounded by pink dotted lines. When a robot enters the signal block zone, its coordinates information will be blocked. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Please keep in mind that I'm not good at English. Hello everyone. I'm Jinwon Lee and I'm a student of South Korea. This time, I participated Cospace Rescue Challenge U19 League. I really hope to meet you face to face, but we can't. So I took some pictures of me. Can you see the picture? The boy in black clothes is me. The reason that I wear mask is to protect myself from COVID-19. Keep wearing mask when you go out. And the building behind me is my school. The name is Bugok High School. Korean students go to school even though COVID-19 is still spreading. How about your country? I want to hear your answers. Then let's move to the next. The committee gave me some questions, so I will answer to those questions. It's the first question. How long have you been involved in robotics? Mm, actually, I've loved to play with Lego since I was a little kid. From the Lego, I started to be interested in robotics. So now I'm 17 years old. Uh, it's maybe about 8 years that I've been involved in robotics. It's the second question. My stretches and algorithms. My first algorithm is about using positions of robot. We can get compass value and positions of robot. So I made a function. If I input x and y coordinates of one point into the function, robot moves to that point. So I can make the robot move the way I want. I will show you an example of it. An example of it. Uh, if we input 20, 20, and that is, and 20, 20 is here. And if robot is here and looking this way, then the robot moves like this and arrived here, this point. Yeah. This is my first algorithm. The second algorithm is easy. and it's about super object. To get the high score, I made the robot not to get more than two objects which are same color, like two red and two cyan and two black, or two red, one black, two cyan, one super object, like like this. Uh, <coughs> not 
the wrong thing is like three red and three black. Yeah, I made my robot not to eat that three three. And third question, I uh, know third is about using the function that I told. Uh, think and the set the most effective roads where the robot can get the most points. Yeah, this is my third stretches. My stretches. And the last is to save my time. No, the last is to save time, which can be wasted. If robot is full loaded, the robot will pass some useless road that I set. These are my stretches and algorithms. And the third question. However, maybe it's not a question. Anyway, sharing my Cospace experience. The first time that I started Cospace Rescue is in August 2017. It's, it was right after Robocop in Nagoya, Japan. In the same year, I participated the first Robocop, Robocop Asia Pacific in Bangkok, and I could experience really really nice algorithms of other teams. After that competition, I studied hard to make my own algorithms based on what I had seen in Robocop Asia Pacific. And the algorithm is what I used this time. So I hope you not to stop challenging. Prepare for next competition with, with your improved algorithms. I think imitating is not a bad thing. Uh, when we have no I no idea, uh, imitating is a good way. The last thing, bonus. I want to tell you one Korean word. What do you know what is hello in Korean? It's 안녕하세요. One more time, 안녕하세요. When you meet Korean people, Please say 안녕하세요 to them. Uh, hello equals 안녕하세요 in Korean. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that all of us in the world can be safe from COVID-19. And thank you again. In the name of God, my name is Arshia Tanha and I live in Tehran, Iran and the league that I sign up for is RCAP Coespace Rescue Challenge U19. I have worked Coespace for almost one year and programming in C language. My program has some special algorithms that I want to show you how they work. First of all, I want to tell you how my signal block zone code works. First, I'm going to tell you what signal block zone is. Okay, signal block zone is a zone that robot signals are blocked and robot doesn't have any locations there and it can be dangerous near the traps. So now we know what signal block zone is, let's find out how to program for it. My idea was backing up location before robots go to the signal block zone and use it instead of default variable. The next item I want to talk about it is how to pick super object. If robot deposit in a special way like two cyan, two red, two black, or one red, one cyan, one black, the super object create in random B location and it have 19 point to 180 points and it's so important to pick the super object. So that's how this program work. When the super object creates a map, we have the super object location just for one second and then nothing. So I backing up the super object location. Due to the map, I choose some zone that super object can be created there and write a code that if robot and super object were in the same area, robot go and pick the super object. But how? 
If I wanna say short, if you imagine robot and super object two picks up a right right angle, the robot move through right angle chords to pick super object, and that's how my robot picked the super object. Let's move to the next item that I call it steps. Map is so big, and if robot go randomly, it has the less chance to pick object and deposit fast. So robot needs a path to save more times and pick object and deposit them faster. I write this algorithm like super object algorithms and it has the same triangle idea. The only extra work that must be done is to choose the path correctly to gain the most points in the less time. At the end, I'm happy because this program can save a million lives and can And off we go! In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Red Robot has picked up a Super Plus object, that is 180 points. Blue Robot is in the swamp, speed is restricted. Blue Robot is depositing. In order to ensure smoothness of challenge, Robot is repositioned and freezes it for 10 seconds. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is running into difficulties. System will reset it. Red Robot is depositing.
Blue Robot is depositing. Blue Robot has picked up a super plus object, that is 180 points. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is in the swamp. Speed is restricted. Red Robot has picked up a Super Plus object. That is 180 points. Blue Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is depositing. Rat Robot is depositing. Blue Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations. Oh, 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 oh,